how to create a business card on canva.com hi guys in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create your very own business card for your business using the free tool that canva.com provides so without any further ado let's jump into the video so the first thing that I want you guys to do is come over to canva.com. Now over here, what I want you guys to do is just simply sign up or log in if you already have an account. If you don't, you can just sign up. The sign up process is extremely simple. It doesn't take a lot of time and you can do it just by clicking one button. So let's just go ahead and log in. I've already made an account on Canva, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and i'm gonna log in with google because it is the most easiest and it saves a lot of time guys because you don't have to enter in all the details manually you just simply log in with the click of a button so i'm gonna go ahead and click on google so as you can see i've logged in and i'm ready to create my own business card so you can create a business card by simply clicking on the create a design button at the top right corner over here or you can just simply scroll through the categories and find whichever one you're trying to create so we have presentation over here we have instagram posts we have posters we have logos we have resumes and if we go we have some birthday cards or greeting cards and over here we have our birthday cards or greeting cards and next to it we have invitations videos and as we can see over here this is the business card this is the category that we want to create so let's just go ahead and click on it and try to create one for ourselves or and try to create ones for ourselves so when we click on it this is how the website will look like so over here this is our canvas over here we can add in more canvases or pages down over here by clicking on this button we can then download the entire card once it's done by clicking on this button over here and on the left side we have some templates and as we can see we can download these templates and try to create them or as well so i'm gonna go ahead and click on this template and i'm gonna try to recreate this one just so you can and get a better example as you can see this template is pretty easy it just has this logo over here then the name of the creator and then down below they have their specifications of what they do basically they're a freelance copywriter slash copy editor and this is the back side of the card they say come work with me to contact you have their mobile number their address their email and their website and their logo of course over here so that is basically it it's as you can see it's really simple to create so i'm going to go ahead and create one from scratch so let me just delete all of this and now when you want to create one you have to click on over here at this bar over here on the left side where we have a bunch of tools so we have some elements and over here we can draw in shapes we can add in photos graphics and videos and stuff like that and down down below we have uploads here we have uploaded the image that we want to upload and then down below we have text if you want to like add in different text as well then we have background and then we have more over here we can have some style audio videos charts and stuff like that and other applications as well that canva supports so let's just go ahead and create one. So the first thing that we need to do is to have a background. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on background. Let's just select the black color as well. And then what I want you guys to do is go over to elements and over here, let's just choose a shape. Let's choose this shape over here. And now what I want you guys to do is drag the shape to your specific place like what I'm doing over here. I'm trying to recreate a card template that I saw earlier and this is how it basically looks like we have top over here and then we have bottom down below let me just center align it real quick and i think it's centered so i'm going to click on this uh, square over here and i'm going to try to change its color i'm going to add in a white color over here so it looks like this i have black color at the top and then white at the bottom now i'm going to go ahead and add a text element basically my name at the top and my last name at the bottom so we can do that by adding a heading or you can just simply add the text that are already over here as you can see and another way that you can add text is by clicking on the canvas and clicking on the t button on your keyboard or tablet or whichever device you're using so if i press t this paragraph is going to pop up and now i can select this paragraph and move it over here and let me just center align it real quick so i'm going to keep it in the center 
uh let me just try to find it over here i think this that's right so let me just change the color of the text as well so to change it just double click it and over here you can see we have text color so click on text colors and change it to something more prominent that you can see in a dark color so as you can see this looks pretty nice i'm gonna go ahead and change the fonts as well so we have open fonts right now so i'm gonna choose anton or archivo black yeah i think that looks pretty good as well so i'm gonna change the text to my name and that looks pretty nice guys I do have to say so myself let me just center align it real quick and see if i can if it's centered or not i think it's centered in from my eye so i'm gonna keep that all right let's just change the font as well it looks pretty nice but it doesn't look great so we have a lot of different fonts over here but as you can see most of them are for the pro version so if you want these types of features as well you can just simply try canva pro but if you don't want to the simple version will do just fine so let me choose the horizon now it doesn't look that great as well i think i'm gonna go with yeah lovella looks pretty nice as well so that this is the font that i chose guys now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a another text element and i'm going to add my last name over here and I'm going to change it to black because I'm going to place it on a white background. Let me just scroll it down over here. This is the center of this one. And this is my card, guys. This is how it looks like. Now, this is it. This is on my front page. I, you can add more text elements if you want. But I think this looks pretty cool. This is minimalistic and it gets the job done. And now let's go move on with the black and I think I'm going to add in a another element I'm going to add in the bar as well so I'm going to take this bar and I'm going to place it over here at the edges then I'm going to stretch that bar up so that it looks like it's a border another bar I'm going to hurry vertically 90 degrees 91 come on 90 degrees I don't think I could get 90 degrees actually so I'm gonna go ahead and 90 degrees there we go then I'm going to place that bar over here but I'm going to cut this bar or add over here and I'm going to change it over here you can also undo and redo by clicking on the short key buttons which are Control Z and Control shift Z so I'm going to add a bar at the bottom let me change the color and I'm going to put it black so I think that looks pretty nice and we can also animate them as well so let me just add in a small animation over here that will look pretty nice that is a little bit too much i think pan looks pretty nice so i'm going to choose that animation and that is my card guys now let's go ahead and enter the back side of this card so i'm going to keep the black background and i'm going to add a text element over here the same concept let's create one as well let me just put it in the bottom over here this is the white one as you can see it looks pretty nice i don't is it center aligned i think so let's compare it with the other one let me just see yeah it's a little bit too big put it down below and yeah i think it's center line now let me just bring out actually you know what let's remove these bars they don't look pretty good at either so now we can add another block over here let me just expand it a little bit and up top as well let me just do that and that and let me just pull it back down over here and let me just enter in add in the white color yes that is it now i'm going to add my title at the top and i'm going to add what my information at the bottom as well so i'm going to click on the text element and i'm going to add my heading now this can be what your main task is so i'm a videographer so i'm a videographer so i'm going to do that and let me just change my font to lovello and that looks pretty nice let me just move this over here at the top over here i think it looks pretty nice over here and then down below i'm going to add in my email address let me just add in my email address over here let me just increase the space between these two i think it will look pretty nice as well so let me just center it there you go this centered let me just move it up a little bit and now i'm going to add in another text element and i'm going to add my website and this is how it will look like now i'm going to change the fonts to novello again with these both of these select the entire like the font novello and that is it now it looks pretty big this one so i'm going to shrink it down a little bit so it matches the overall theme let me just put it down and then down at the bottom i'm going to add my number over here 
and that is basically it that is how it will look like guys that is how you create a card now granted it's not the best card in the world but it gets the job done guys as you can see it is very very easy to create a card on canva.com you don't have to do anything you just have to simply be a little bit more creative and if you want i can show you the template that i copied it from so let me just go back over here at the top so this is the template that i copied it's similar to it but it lacks a little bit of things that i didn't add so that is it guys that is how you create your card now once you have created a card just simply click on the download button and over here you will have two options you can download it as an mp4 because since we added animation, so it would be nice to have it in the MP4 version. But if you haven't added animations, you can just simply download the JPEG or the PNG, the standard version, and it will be just fine. So simply click on download and it will be downloaded. And then you can use the card to grow your business and show off your company. So that is it for this video, guys. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comment sections down below and I will be sure to answer them truthfully as soon as possible. So having said that, if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification, guys. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.